Hello chatbot developers. Welcome to this part of the video. In this part, we are going to connect our Dialogflow agent with the webhook we started in the previous video. I am inside my Dialogflow CX console and I have created a project and an agent inside that project called YouTube demo. And I am inside my default start flow. We have this default start flow, which is connected to one route default welcome intent so we will go to first manage and under there we have webhook section i already have created a webhook and i have named it backend and this is the url so i'll remove this i'll go to the terminal where i've started ngrock i will copy the forwarding url with https cause dialogflow doesn't support http so I'll copy that. I'll paste the URL here and followed by the path uh, dialog flow. So if we go here, any request which has dialog flow route will be passed to this dialog flow route. So let me save this. Let's go to build. And inside start, we have a default welcome intent. Now, I have enabled webhook for this default welcome intent and provided a tag. So this tag is, you know, kind of identifier with which we will identify the request coming from dialog flow for that particular route. And based on that identification, we will generate our response. So let me save this. So I think everything is connected. Let me taste the agent. Let me say just hi. Oh, sorry, no, did not get that. Let me say hello. Okay, you can see that we have received a response from our webhook and we can go here and under sample controller we have these two responses this is a sample response from webhook and another sample response let me make one more again under response let me save this meanwhile you can see the request sent by dialog flow as well here it has many useful information detected intent response id and intent info page info session info and fulfillment so this is the tag i have talked about uh, the text of the user and language code as well so let me again test this with hi okay we got the response this is the sample response and this one again another response the last we added now let's see the structure of the response accepted by Dialogflow. So you can search for Dialogflow CX webhook and that search will lead you to this page. You can come here and you will see that there is a whole request uh, page and response page. So we are at this point going to look at the response page and there are two responses supported v3 and v3 beta so obviously we are going to use the v3 version of the response and you can see this is the structure of the response that we need to send from our webhook so it is a json object as you can see here and there are some info fulfillment response then page info, session info, payload, and target page and target flow. We will use these two property of the response to navigate to a page and a flow. Now let's look into the fulfillment response section. This will be an object again. It has one property, messages and merge behavior. So let's see first merge behavior merge behavior has merge behavior unspecified append and replace we are not going to use this
but we are going to use only messages messages is a list and that list is an object and inside there is a response message object which has this fields text payload conversation success output audio text and other stuffs but this kind of uh, advanced thing we are just going to focus on this text so the text is again an object and if we look into that text section it will be a list of string and allowed playback interruption so if you connect your dialog flow agent with any telephony service this allow playback interruption is a boolean field and it says that output only so whether the playback of this message can be interrupted by the end user speech or not so based on the understanding i have created this format response for dialog flow and what we are going to create is the same thing we just seen here throughout this pages so i hope you understand that how you can connect dialog flow cx agent to a webhook and send sample response now let's move to the next section of the video and we will now navigate from one flow to another flow see you in the next part of the video